What is going on guys? You've got the Oracle there and we are back and then you for a new vintage cube draft. This pack is fairly decent. Uh, you probably already know my love for, for Emrakel if you watch a few other videos I, I, I uploaded recently. Grizzlebrand is a nice one too. Uh, really nice reanimation target. Chase is fine but not my favorite. Lord Cobra is decent. Um, I guess Sotis is a pretty good card, especially if you are playing Reanimator because you can target yourself. Phyrex and Metamorph I think is an amazing card that's fairly underrated. But by playing that you can counter people using show and tell and stuff like that, you can even beat them. Like if someone tries to show and tell an Emrakul, well you will copy the Emrakul and you will be the first to attack so you will win. I think it's a very good card, might just pick that, quite versatile. Uh, I just think that card is very very good. Um, you could first pick Grizzlebrand, first pick Miracle, first pick Lotus Cobra. I think I'll, I'll just go with Metamorph. I, I like that card a lot. And I also kind of wanted to play a, an artifact deck recently and, you know, Freaks and Metamorph is pretty good. Had I first pick uh, Grizzlebrand, it would be a fairly easy animate dead here. I think it's just a great card. But since I kind of want to go into the artifact theme, maybe I should pick Goblin Wilder here. It's kinda early on maybe to jump into that direction, but yeah, I'd be happy to do that. I don't think I'm very likely to wield the Borosing yet, even though that'd be super sweet. The two Planeswalkers here are very good. Elspeth is very good, it's just a very very good finisher. Uh, Stoneforge is pretty good too. Again, Animate Dead would be a very good follow-up to Grizzlebrand, but you know, I'm trying to do something a bit different here, so we'll go with the welder and hopefully artifact is going to be open but there are no artifact in this pack which is not exactly a good news for us um on the other hand that pack doesn't have much for anyone i mean there's either of great travel for the mono red player other than that you know lean vala master of the wild and, and and master of the fell I mean, in my opinion, you don't really want to play those mid-range creatures in Vintage Cube. You'd rather either be super control -y or try to combo out early or to burn your opponent, but being mid-range deck with 4-drop that doesn't do a whole lot is, I think, one of the weakest things you can do. Um, this member is not a bad reinvol. I think I'm gonna go with Idol of Greater Revels in case Monored is open. Um, doesn't go super well with what I have yet, but I could see Metamorph being decent in Mono Red. And there is just not much else, so we'll see if that's open. Okay, ooh, Necromancy, yeah, Reanimator might be open, I mean, it seems kinda open. We got this Animate Dead, we could have picked Grizzlebrand, could have built a fairly sweet Reanimate deck, but again, I've been trying to cheat onto the battlefield some fatties a lot recently, so I kind of wanted to try out something different. Imperial Recruiter is kind of nice. Um, I can fetch the Metamorph, I can fetch Welder. Uh, well, in a Recruiter deck I will probably not play the Eidolon, but I guess that's an option too. Um, could also go well in a Kiki Cheeky Pestamite combo deck. Volcanic Island would be another cool option, because Best colors to play artifact with, I think, are red and blue. So, because you have Tinker in blue, you have the two Burning of Dingy and um, Wildfire in red, which are really good with artifact acceleration. I don't know. I'm gonna go with Recruiter, and we'll see if uh, the Kiki Jiki my deck is open. And the Grand Sin's not bad. I'm meh. maybe I should pick Lava Mentor and just maybe go Mono Red. Gerda's type is not my favorite in any deck. Could pick Anticipate is not a bad one if I'm blue-red combo. Yeah, why not? Alright, that pack doesn't have match going on for no one. Regarding what I just said with mid-range deck, I think Desecration Demon is kinda bad. Well, it's fairly aggressive, so but black beatdown is not probably a bit too slow in Vintage Tube. Tarmogoyf is pretty bad for the same reason. All in all, that pack doesn't have match. I mean, there is a slight chance I play green. So I'm gonna pick that, but pretty disappointing pack, all in all. Okay, Chain Lightning is probably one of the best cards here. And I'm most likely red, so I'm just gonna pick that. Siege Gang is something I can fetch off the Recruiter. It's a fine card. Again, it's, it kind of falls into that mid-rangey creatures that 
aren't just good enough for a vintage cube, I think, but the fact that I can fetch it and that it's rather threatening, does deal with Planeswalker quite efficiently, makes it decent, I think. I think it's, yeah, there is a load stolen golem, but we haven't seen many artifacts, so I'm not even sure this is really a plan I wanna go into. The Grizzlebrand wield, what the hell? If Grizzlebrand wield are the reanimation spell wielding, I'm gonna pick that, I don't care about, I mean, Manic Vandal is pretty good, but... What? Why did that wheel? That was one of the best cards of the pack, I don't get it. Alright, the animate that did not wheel, unfortunately. Borsing at wheel, though, which is super nice. Fire Blast wield. Am I likely to be mono red beat down? I, I really have only two cards for the mono red deck currently. I get three because Metamorph is probably fine. I could splash for Endmaster of the Fell if I'm. I'm gonna pick Fire Blast in case Mono Red is actually open. Necromancy Wield. That's weird. No one is caring about that. Maybe I should pick Necromancy. Maybe I should just be Reanimator. Maybe someone just took Animate Dead because they were black or they counter drafted. Lavamancer Wield. Okay, well, I have quite a lot of options available to me. I will need to make some sort of choice though. It's a very weird start. Grizzlebrand wheeling is very, very strange to me. I don't know. Uh, well, this pack ugh, doesn't have match. No, n n none of the red cards are super exciting unless I'm mono red and I want figure of destiny. Should I be mono red though? I have basically five cards for a mono red deck pot potentially. Maybe. Skullclamp pretty strong, but probably not with what I have. I guess it's kind of sweet with Recruiter, Siege Gang Commander, and stuff like that. Kind of. I could just pick Fact of Fiction, because if I'm blue back reanimator, it's gonna be good. If I'm red with a touch of blue, it's gonna be good. This is probably wheeling anyway. I'm gonna go with the Fuff. I'm super, super unsure about what I'm doing here, as you might tell. Uh, but everything seems open. Sneak attack is appealing, kind of. We already passed a miracle though, which makes it a bit less good. Maybe I should just pick Zurgo and, you know, make the mono... There's Shield Red for Reanimator deck though. Eh, I'm gonna pick that. Max Ruby. Well, I'm certainly picking that, I think. Mystic Confluence is pretty strong. Solemn is a nice card, but... Yeah, I think it's gonna be Max Ruby. Pestonite, Strip Mine, Searing Blaze. I need to choose something. I mean, by the end of this pack, I, I, I need to have... To have... I, I, I need to have choose something to play. I think... Yeah, I don't think Reanimation is gonna be... It's a bit too late, maybe. I don't know. It's super annoying. Pestamite is kind of appealing because of Recruiter and potentially Kiki Cheeky and Splint Twin. Mm, yeah. Oh, Control Magic is a very good blue card. Alright, I like that. Yeah, I think we can... Oh, there is a Buried Alive. Monastery Mentor is super sweet too. Tezzeret's looking... Maybe good, I mean I have three artifacts already. Two of them produces mana. So it could be decent if I'm blue-red. I think it's the card I'm the more likely to play and I think I should just abandon the reanimation thing. Trinket Mage, very good one with Max Ruby. It's also uh, another thing I can fetch with Recruiter, which is kind of sweet. Okay, so we are blue-red mid-range combo -y stuff. Well, it's really funny because I... I did not... Uh, you know, I did not look at my curve, I was uh, just looking at the curve and <laughs> for some reason my curve is nearly perfect. Uh, obviously there's a lot of, of cards I'm not playing here. Like Fire Blast, probably no Lava Mentor main deck. Welder is not looking good right now. Idol and Easer. I'm gonna pick Deceiver Exarch and hope that I can get Splint Twin or Kikijiki. 
Oh, I do like it to charm a decent amount. Okay. So now we have something going on. Which is good. Sneak attack wield? Hmm. That's not something I expected, but... Maybe I can make good use of that. Probably not, but you never know. Do I care about match here? Not really. I'm gonna pick those red cards in case I end up playing red. Not very likely, but you never know. Ooh, Monastery Mentor. Well, I should pick the, the Gorger. Again, there is a small chance that I end up playing Mono Red, I think. Very small, but you never know. I have two land that, you know, fixes for green. Could be interesting. I could be mono red beat down, honestly. Like, if I if I open a sulfuric vortex here, might be something. Also, if I don't get the other part of the combo, it could be good. There are some really good cards for blue red here, though. Mana Rain is pretty insane. Steam Vent is great. Especially now that we know that, um, you know, Volcanic Island has been take, taken by someone else. Uh, makes the Steam Vent pretty appealing. I think I should still pick Mana Rain because that card is just too damn good. And hope to wield the Steam Vent, even though it's not so likely. Yeah, there's a reanimate here. But we pretty much moved away from, from that uh, that thing, I think, right now. Um, I'm just going to check how many mono red cards I have right now. Probably not enough, but... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's far from being enough. Yeah, I think the mono red plan I can let go. <coughs> Which means that Shrine is probably not the peak. I should probably just be crack those things yet, honestly. Yep. Oh, Kiki Jiki. I I'm snapping that off. There's no way. You know, with two two other combo and uh, the recruiter, it, it's it's clearly Kiki Jiki. The issue is that I I don't think the um, Steam Vent is willing, so the mana base is not gonna be the best. But you know, it's still you know it's still the better option. Ooh, Sundering Titan to go with my uh, um my welder maybe. Hmm. I'm just gonna put back the blue cards in. Okay. No, not the tiger. Um. Hmm. Okay. Um. Political Delta could fetch a steam vent if I were to wield that. Seizing Song does help cast Kiki Jiki, but I think it's a bit too narrow. Bribery, not a huge fan, but it's kind of a good card. The thing is, how many ways do I have to discard my Sundering Titan? I have It's a Charm and I think that's it. So it's kinda light to want to play the Welder, I think. I'm just gonna go with Portal Delta and pray that the uh, Steam Vent is willing. Uh, Tolarian is probably not good enough right now. It's close, but not good enough. Muldrifter, on the other hand, is a good card. It's also another card that I can fetch off the Recruiter, so... I think it's pretty appreciate. You know, I'm gonna appreciate having that basically. Um, Venser, I like quite a lot. I think it's slightly better than Flintung Kavu. Um, and yeah, I don't care about anything else. And it's another creature that I. I mean, it's, it's gonna be good recruiter deck, <laughs> if nothing else. I'm I'm thinking that maybe I could use Pentad Prism. The other option would be to pick Sword for the sideboard. I don't think I want to main deck, main deck that. Maybe Mystic Confluence, I mean Mana Confluence is actually needed. Just because, you know, I, I'm going to play Mana Drain, Venzer, Control Magic, and Kiki Jiki. don't really like taking damage, but maybe it's necessary. Good news is that both Signet produce red, which is good for Kiki Jiki. Show and tell. Huh. You know, it's a two-card combo with Grizzlebrand. 
maybe a bit light. Why, why no one want to play the... I mean, those are the best deck, in my opinion. The Sneak Attack, Show and Tell, Reanimator deck. Those are the, those are the more consistent and easy to win with deck, and no one seems to like those. Bolt is pretty good. I mean, it's between Bolt and Show and Tell. Show and Tell is kind of nice with Kiki Jiki, though. Just to help you... I'm gonna go with that. Whatever. Ooh, the steam vent wheel. That's 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 a great gift. That changed everything just because it means I have two blue red lands in my deck basically. Reanimate wheels? Yeah, no one is trying to do crazy stuff. Every everyone is just nice and gentle in this in this draft. Uh Bazaar? Yeah, I mean I could have a I could have had a really sick blue black reanimation show and tell deck, I think. Maybe it's what I should do instead of Yeah, maybe I should be blue black and not blue red. I'm gonna check out that. Uh, probably picking Temple of Deceit if I end up blue black. Inquisition. Yeah, maybe I should actually be blue black and not blue red. Thing is, I just have Grizzlebrand as a. Well, like, I, I have Shield Red too, actually. Hmm. So here, this is 22 playables. I guess it's more. Yeah, more 21 because this is more of a land. But I can add Searing Blaze, I guess. Oh, actually, it's 20. It's kind of light. Hmm. Let's, let's see what I have if I'm playing blue black. I could also be Grixis. Seems kind of hard, though. I don't have a lot of fixing. No, I did not pick enough reanimation spell. It's probably not the right move. And I think it's blue red. Um so maybe I could be blue red splash for black. I do have a Polita Delta, Ragda Signet, and Temple of Deceit. And I could splash for Necromancy. I don't have many ways to discard the Grizz brand though. And my mana base is already not looking especially good. Lava Mentor is very main the cable. So this is 21. Could add the Grizzle brand to go with the Chantel and the Necromancy. That's a very, very weird deck. Might be good. It's interesting, if nothing else. Searing Blaze is playable, just not my favorite. And I do have one... I have two burn spell plus a... I guess a Siege Gang, a Control... Yeah, actually, maybe I could use a Searing Blaze over Necromancy, which seems kind of too much. Shuentel, Grizzlebrand. Uh, the, the thing I like with Shuentel, well, first it's a two combo card with Grizzlebrand, a bit risky but pretty good. Second, it's a... Um, you, you know I can just Shuentel the Kiki Jiki, which helps a lot. And honestly, I don't have much else to add if I'm not playing those. Like Fire Blast looking not good, Sneak Attack not good. Eidolon, no, no, no. Yeah, so I guess it's gonna be the deck. Probably gonna add... Actually, I don't need any Swamp. So, 6 Island, 6 Mountain would be... Um, 10 blue sources, which is more than enough. I mean, not more than enough, but it's enough. It's just, just enough for the turn to Mana Drain, I think. Would like 11, but 10 it should be good. And 12 red. 12 red is actually a bit too much. I think I can go 11 11. Because both of my net produce red and no uh, blue actually. And I have the Mox Ruby that's already red. So here, just gonna check back. 11 blue. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
I guess three and a half because sometime I, I will not be able to fetch it in vent if I already, already have that. Eleven. Yeah, that should be kind of good. Thing is, if I have Grizzlebrand in hand, it's kind of bad. I mean, I can discard it to the Eater Charm. I can draw my Shuntel, but other than that, it seems kind of bad. I guess it's the same with Mox Ruby and Trinket Mage. Recruiter is just great though. Look at that toolbox. Kiki Jiki, Siege Gang, Moldrifter, Venzer, Metamorph, Trinket Mage, Pestamite, Exarch, and Lava Mentor. I can just fetch any effect I want, which is super sweet. Okay, I'm gonna submit that. Again, very weird deck. Um, either way, I hope you enjoyed the draft. If you did, feel free to leave a like. You can also subscribe to the channel. Feel free to, you know, share that video around you if you have uh, the possibility to do so. And yeah, I see you for round one.